Do people tell you you're overly sensitive? There's something wrong with you. Or do crowded places make you feel nervous, anxious, overwhelmed, and drained? If you answered yes to any of those questions, then you may be an empath. In this video, I'm going to explain what an empath is, give you more signs to help you determine if you really are one, and also give you protection tips so you can protect your own energy. Hello, I'm Wendy Rapp, spiritual life coach and intuitive reader. On this channel, I help you as a spiritually awakened person grow and evolve on your soul's journey. And if you're interested in more spiritual material like this, hit the subscribe button because I upload a new video every Sunday. So what is an empath? An empath is a person who has a very good ability to detect, read, and process the energy around them. You're very good at picking up the energies of others, their emotions and their feelings, and you do this without even trying. It's very easy for an empath to communicate or to have another person communicate what they're going through simply through the vibrations and the energies that they are sensing from that person. So here are a few signs you might be an empath. When you're in crowds or crowded places, do you often feel anxious, overwhelmed, or drained? When you're in public, do you have emotions suddenly come in and overwhelm you, just from seemingly from out of nowhere? When you see violent or tragic events on the news or on TV, does it devastate or incapacitate you? Do you have sensitivities to oh, light, sounds, especially loud noises, smells, foods, um, even suffer from food allergies? Do people, even total strangers, come up to you and start talking to you, telling you their problems, asking you for advice? Do you often experience the pain and illness of others and you experience it in your own body, especially when it's a loved one of yours? And when you see someone who's in pain, do you just feel you must do something to help that person? Do you just love animals? And if you hear of one or see one that's been hurt, it just absolutely devastates you. Those are just a few of the signs that you may be an empath. Empaths are a depository for other people's energies. You are an energetic and emotional sponge. Not only can that be very draining on you, but if you're not careful and you don't protect yourself, you can burn out and you can get very sick. So what can you do to protect yourself? Well, the first thing is something I've talked about here before, and that is calling in the divine white light. And I do it every morning when I first wake up. If you can do it before you even get out of bed, all the better. But first thing every morning, see yourself being surrounded in a cocoon of brilliant, beautiful, divine white light. Nothing negative can come into that cocoon and only love can go out. Now, not only do I surround myself with the divine white light, of course, I call in Archangel Michael for protection, for spiritual protection. I call in my angels and guides to give me protection throughout the day and to make me aware of when I may be act, um, letting my shields down a little bit. Um, so they do that for me. They make me aware of times when I maybe need to amp the protection up a little bit. So always call on your angels and guides as well, and Archangel Michael or whoever your higher power is. And another thing that I like to do with that divine white light that really works, and I absolutely love doing it and I have a lot of fun with it, when you wake up in the morning and you might be in a particular mood or you might be in a really good mood, um, but think of a color that after you've got this cocoon of white light surrounding you, and I always see the white light moving around me, I never see it stagnant. Um, not that it matters how you see it, just so don't let that bother you. Um, but then I will think, well, today is going to be a pink day. And I saturate, for whatever reason, I need that color pink, or I need the color yellow, or orange, or green, or blue. And I saturate. I ask um, the divine to bring in that the energy of that color and that color. And I just see that bubble all throughout being saturated with that color. It's a fun thing to do. There's no right or wrong about it. Go with whatever color 
um, comes to mind for you that day, but color will act as an extra added protection and you will be in the energy of that lovely color, whatever you choose that day. So call in the divine white light, fill that light with some beautiful color that appeals to you, that makes you feel good. And throughout the day, you do need to kind of check in, see how your bubble's doing. How's that cocoon holding up? Does it need to be fortified in any particular area? If so, bring up the shields, fortify it. But it's going to be up to you, your responsibility, to make sure that you are well protected when you go about your day. And another way to protect yourself is to remove yourself from unnecessary negative energies. So be mindful of the people that you spend time with. Be mindful of the kind of TV shows, uh, news shows, or movies that you watch. Try to keep yourself from uh, taking in too much negativity throughout your day. It's really going to be necessary if you want to protect your energy. Another good protection tip is, uh, well, empaths tend to be people pleasers. So learn to say no. You're going to have to have very healthy boundaries if you want to keep yourself healthy as an empath. And it's really important as an empath that you remember to be mindful of your own thoughts and emotions. So if you're dwelling on something negative, it's going to be up to you to replace that negative thought with something more positive. If you're feeling those emotions pent up within you, it's going to be up to you to release those energies. And a good way of doing that is really taking a walk, getting out in nature. Nature is so curative for empaths. Um, it's my favorite way of getting, releasing negative energies or worries that I have. I take a walk without a Walkman, just taking in the sights and really enjoying the sounds of nature. But be mindful when you're feeling that it's beginning to become a bit overwhelming. And if you can't take a walk, just send your energy down into Mother Gaia, into the earth, and ask her to take those energies, everything negative that does not um, work for you, please take it from you, and she'll transmute that lovingly, then take in her strength, her strong energy, and her nurturing energy. But it's going to be up to you. It's also important for you to take good care of yourself, and part of that is, again, going back to saying no to people, when you need alone time, give yourself alone time. Take time to yourself to get your rest, to rejuvenate, to um, simply be at peace with yourself and have the time to do these practices to release the stress. Don't forget healthy eating, drinking lots of water, and of course moderate exercise, nature, the sunshine, it's all so important for empaths. And don't forget that the energies that we feel can accumulate within our own homes. So sage your home regularly. I like to um, also just open the windows and let the sunlight in. That's a good way of helping to clear the energies. It's also a good idea to declutter on a regular basis. Uh, the clutter will hold on to that energy. So when you clean and declutter, throw things out that you don't need anymore, it's a good way of releasing negative energies. And don't forget your protection crystals. I always carry some on me. I'm wearing some in my pants right now. I don't know if you can hear that. Um, I have crystals in my pockets while I speak as well as wearing one. Um, and in case you're wondering, that's a rainbow moonstone. Um, but I always have crystals on me for clearing, for protection. I have them around the home, and you should too. Black tourmaline is good, smoky quartz, they're really good for transmuting negative energies and helping to ground. Um, I also like to have a lot of amethyst and citrine in my home. I also have a lot of ametrine, which I love and I have in my pocket right now. And ametrine is a combination of the properties of amethyst and citrine. And what it does, it helps to clear your aura, it shields your aura, and it also offers you psychic protection, which is very important for an empath. So don't forget to use those crystals. Do a little research, go choose the ones that call to you, but it's good to carry them or to have them around your home as well. I understand that being empathic can feel like a burden and a curse. It did for me for many years. But when you take ownership and responsibility, being empathic can make you feel empowered. And that's what we're going to be discussing in next week's video. What it means to be an empowered empath 
and the role an empowered empath plays in this world. Thank you so much for joining me here today. I hope that information was helpful for you. If you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comment section below because I'd love to hear from you and I answer and respond to all the comments. If you would like to connect with me on social media, the links are below in the description box. And as always, you are a spark of the divine. Share your light with the world. Blessings.